this morning. Uh, just to remind everybody that we have a church directory online. If you have not downloaded that and logged into that, please do so. We're not going to be printing out or doing the paper copies anymore. So we have this online. So please, it's got a lot of good information. Julia keeps it updated. And also, if you haven't gone in there and seen that you have a little blank gray area for your picture, Please either get a picture to Jilda or go in there yourself and put your own pictures in there so that we can remember who everybody is. Some of us are getting older and don't remember faces and names. It takes us a little bit longer, so please, please remember to do that. Also, in the back of the pew in front of you, there are some blue cards. We want to be praying for you. We want to be praying for needs. We want to be praying for blessings. So please, those blue cards, fill those out. There's trays in the back of the auditorium. Drop those in the trays, and we will do that if you, during the sermon today, all of a sudden something pops into your head. Fill out that little blue card, you know, while Gary's tar- talking. Hold it up here at the end during the last song, and we'll grab those, and we'll pray for those at the end. He's, he's smiling and laughing at me because I'm telling people to do things during a sermon. Um, also, cell phones, please take a minute to silence those. We do have Wi-Fi available. That's in the bulletin if you need the password for that. It's Jesus Loves Me Too. It's really easy to remember. Some announcements. We have the Christmas brunch today, immediately following worship. There's a lot of good food back there. I haven't sampled any of it yet. I'm kind of holding back, but please uh, stay for that brunch. Um, Zach and Brooke are looking for a nanny slash babysitter two or three days a week beginning in January. If you have any recommendations, please reach out to them. Tuesday morning ladies class will resume this week. Uh, Wednesday evening Bible class, Rob Folker is teaching. Uh, that's going to be exciting, so please uh, please uh, attend that. Um, our Sunday morning, Sunday school class, uh, Build Strong, Finish First in Life and Work, uh, begins on December the 12th. And the speakers class is back. Um, we have a lot of prayer requests in the bulletin. I would ask that you please grab that. Hold on to that throughout the week um, as you're driving or as you're sitting still somewhere. Please take a minute to remember those. But I was uh, reminded this week, um, we have a lot of sick, a lot of, a lot of ill. Um, there's the caregivers that take care of those people. <clears throat> remember those caregivers, because those caregivers are also stressed. Those caregivers are also dealing with a lot in their lives. So... Please remember those caregivers that are taking care of those that are sick, those that are, those that are ill, because they need those prayers as much as, as those people that need prayers for healing. Um, so yeah, with that, I think Austin's going to come up and do our opening scripture and prayer. Austin. Good morning, church. I had a little scripture here from Psalms I wanted to kind of open the prayer with. So if everybody would bow their heads. Um, dear Lord in heaven, uh, Lord our God, you are very great. You are clothed with honor and majesty, who covered yourself with light and with a garment, who stretched out the heavens like a curtain. We come to you this morning asking that you shed that light on us and help us to... Um, Hear your word um, through our preacher here, Mr. Gary, and that whatever we get um, out of it, that we can apply it to our lives and help us to be better people.
to take a second now to say hi to people that we haven't had a chance to this morning. Uh, whenever you're doing that, we're all going to stand and do that. The communion is outside in the, in the hallway if you forgot to grab that. Grab that at that time. Thanks.